I'm Joseph Gallagher, founder of the Joseph Gallagher Group. Two years ago, we started on the longest project in Europe and the Middle East. We have been small, but very essential, part of the largest wastewater treatment project in Kuwait. We have constructed the largest and the longest tunnels so far in Kuwait. We also constructed the longest sea outfall by pipe jacking methodology in the Middle East. We acquired two TBMs, which are state-of-the-art from Heron Kinet in Germany. The exercise that has been taking place the last few days is uh, recovery of the TBM from beneath the Arabian Gulf. I'm Jafar Hassanin from Bahrain uh, Al Hassanin Company. Being a marine contractor, you know, we brought special uh, equipment uh, like uh, excavator barge, crane barge, tag boat, and supported by special teams like uh, commercial uh, professional divers, supervisors, and other crews which required for this uh, special recovery of TBM. We have created a floating working platform to allow the process of the TBM recovery. The airbags are connected to the beam on the back of the barge and we do trial inflation on the barge. This is quite a time-consuming process. We then sent divers down with airlifts to remove the remaining sand from over the top of the tunnel machine. Our uh, chief engineer, Ahmed Moheb, has been responsible for uh, arranging our divers. Our divers were faced with difficult underwater conditions, collapsing sand and low visibility. We were able to communicate with our team of divers and using underwater camera and the communication system to monitor their activity. We've lowered into the sea a lifting beam that was purpose made in the UK, shipped to Bahrain, and then brought up on a barge from Bahrain to allow recovery of the machine.
inflated the airbags and with the combination of the airbags and the crane, slowly brought the tunnel machine to the surface. Uh, the water level in the Arabian Gulf where we are is particularly shallow. So consequently we had to wait for a high tide. We uh, pulled at high tide. We pulled three, three and a half kilometers over a period of about an hour to take the machine out to deeper water. The towing of our machine to recover GT has been descent, should not exceed 10 meters per second. We will drop it to the ocean bed to allow all the rods to be checked prior to lifting. On this important project, we have 16 different nationalities. Work with great spirit despite extreme weather to make the recovery possible. I would like to uh, sincerely thank the Ministry of Public Works for the whole kind of support. Despite all our challenges, we achieved our goal and I am very proud of our team.